A Ukrainian patrol ship is leaving port. This video was released by the Ukrainian military and it tells the story of a five-day voyage. They say it's the first time since the Russian annexation of Crimea that their ships have passed from the Black Sea through the Kerch Strait to Mariupol in the Sea of Azov. The United States has condemned what it calls Russia's harassment of international shipping in the area. And from day one, Russian ships are shadowing the convoy. The two Ukrainian vessels, a Targ and the armed patrol ship, had a Russian escort throughout the voyage around the Crimean Peninsula. With Russian aircraft buzzing overhead, a military prosecutor was on board to document any violations of international law. As the Ukrainian convoy drew near to the Kerch Strait, he reported it might not be possible to continue. But they did not find any evidence that this warning had really been issued, and the Ukrainians continued. As they entered the Straits, the Russian presence increased. But the convoy was able to pass through. Within a few nautical miles, it was greeted by Ukrainian Coast Guard boats, which warned the Russian ships to pull back. Ukrainian officials, port authorities and shipping companies told RFERL that Russia detained nearly 150 Ukrainian and foreign merchant ships in this area between May and August this year. Russia says its checks on shipping are lawful. But Ukraine has said it will boost its naval presence in the Sea of Azov, and this modest convoy was a step in that direction. Three days after these ships arrived in Mariupol, the United States handed over two island-class patrol boats to further boost Ukrainian sea power. They're free of charge, though Ukraine will pay around $10 million for them to be refitted and deployed. Radchuk says that even with the refurbishment costs, the American boats are much cheaper than the ones Ukraine has been purchasing in the meantime. The United States first offered the boats in 2014. The four-year delay raised questions about whether Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko's ownership of a competing naval shipyard played a role. A senior figure in the Ukrainian Navy says the American boats are not only cheaper than those from Poroshenko's company. One day, those capabilities may be tested in action. On October the 3rd, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Russia was trying to destabilize Ukraine by impeding civilian shipping. So far, there have not been any naval clashes between Russia and Ukraine, but tensions at sea are rising.